What is up guys, Flossy Missiles here. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some rally in the Baja Miata. We're out here at Glen Helen Raceway, and I'm at the front gate, I'm actually waiting to get in. I'll be the second person to get in. But uh, yeah, it should be a good time. I've never driven a rally event before. I've actually never done any like racing in this thing. In the meantime, I'm out here rolling my fenders, because uh, had some issues with rubbing, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll this all the way out, and make it look like this one. Okay, so I ended up getting in and uh, filling out my registration, getting all the passes done and all that kind of stuff. And I failed my tech inspection due to not having a hard top or a roll cage. But it's funny because I asked them ahead of time if that was okay and they said it was. But yeah, I didn't end up passing tech. So I'm, I just ran home. Well, I'm almost home. And uh, I'm going to pick up my uh, hard top. They said if I have a hard top, that's fine, which is actually less safe than this. I think just, those things pop off if you know anything about Miatas when, when they roll or flex. It's around 31 miles away, so it's definitely not close. And I'm trying to hurry because my session's at like 9.30. But uh, I got to meet David Freiberger from Roadkill. They're out there filming an episode of Roadkill. So that's like super sick. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna throw this hard top on and be back on my way. Sussing, sussing, I'm sussing on you. I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging on you. I'm balling, I'm balling. I've Neutral gang colors. All right, on the way back to Glen Hunt, I had to make a quick pit stop at Home Depot to get some Gorilla Tape for my hard top. It's fiberglass and it's falling apart and I'm gonna tape it up, hopefully they don't notice. Okay, that's where one of the little cracks is at and here's another one right over here. Got this tape, hopefully it just blends right in and they don't even say anything to me about it. Okay, it looks pretty good now. It's not that noticeable over there and in the big spot. I also did some up here. I'm racing to get back there right now. I got about 30 minutes to do 30 miles. There's one other Miata here and he's right in front of me, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna watch him go. And uh, here's the course. I just completed my first lap. That was really, really fun. It was a lot more slick than I thought it was gonna be, but I had a great time. So yeah, let's do it again. Spin again! Dude, I can't believe you're out here. It's so sick. <laughs> There's the Miata. It stayed together out there. I did three laps so far, and man, they were so much fun. Uh, the car stayed together great. Here's the other Rally Miata out here. He's having a few problems. So he's gonna try to work out the kinks right now. It's definitely land of the Subarus out here though. Got Subies everywhere. Really cool looking stuff though. That's all there is. 
Check out that Celica, that thing's so sick. All right, here's my favorite ride out here. RX-7, the OG RX-7, the FB. That's super sick. But there's kind of a little bit of everything out here. I mean, obviously a lot of Subarus, but there's even like Kias and Dodge Neons and all sorts of things. We got a Nissan, what is it, a Sentra? Yeah, Nissan. So yeah, it's, it's set up for rally. He's got some pretty sick wheels on it. He's about to go shred the course. We'll get some video of that. Look at these mud flaps. Nice shifter, dude. <laughs> that thing's tall. It makes it so much easier to get back into Does it? Yeah. Right on. Anything else under your car? Uh, no, it's got the headers, and I have the magnifying exhaust cold air intake. Stock reliability. Yeah, hell yeah. I guess that's what you need out here. Yeah, totally, for sure. But yeah, super cool car. So there's a class for, you know, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive. Uh, there's obviously all wheel drive classes. And I think, depending on what kind of modifications, like engine swaps, there's different classes as well. All right, he's got my GoPro on the top of his car, so he's gonna go shred it. And we're gonna get some sick footage of that. But right now we're watching people launch and it's really funny. Some cars just, just like, all wheel spinning it's pretty insane and some cars just got one wheel peeling out but this key is about to launch we're gonna see how it goes Lost a hubcap too. When your hubcap goes flying up. <laughs> So that's kind of the idea at this event. You want to drive your car here and be able to make it home. So people roll up with their street tires and uh, they just swap them out for their dirt tires and they go run them. How cool that Volkswagen Jetta is. Oh my gosh. It's like my second or third favorite car here. So everyone's out there killing it. It's like around 100 degrees. We got another hour, hour and a half before it gets to be 110. So it's crazy hot out here. Wow, check out how nice this STI is. Can't going to run it in the dirt like this. It looks like he already has, wow. Really nice little STI. But yeah, like I said, I'm about to go out there and run it one more time. Seriously sweating to death out here. Um, pretty cool. Here's the CV right in front of me. About to launch. So my windows have to be up and obviously my top has to be on. So it is so hot inside my car with this helmet on. My eyes are burning right now from all the sweat running into them. And uh, yeah, I'm about to do my fourth lap. Torse, the, cor <laughs> torse. the course looks a little more tore up now, but not too bad. Okay, so this is Nate and this is his car right here. It's a, what year Forester? 98. 98 Forester. And what do you got done to it? Um, well, right now it's just on stock suspension with King Springs. No front sway bar, rear sway bar. Right on. Rear come around in the corner. That did MR502. <laughs> Those are sick looking. Federal G10 rally tires. Wow. 
sliders on there? Sliders are actually factory. That oh, no way. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. That. That's cool. And it's all Rhino line? The whole thing's Rhino line. It used to be an off road car. Wow. Had a snorkel, two and a half inch lift. Jeez. Tires. So it gets around the track pretty good. It does all right. So here's the AMC Hornet that uh, Roadkill drove in today. I guess it's gonna be on one of their future episodes. And they're racing against their minivan they have. It's way too hot to be hanging around, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off. I've never seen anything like this. Look at this Jeep Cherokee. Twin axles in the rear. Okay, well I just made it back home from that event. It was such a great time. I had so much fun driving my car in the dirt and just whipping it around like that. I want to show you guys what I brought, just, just give you an idea of what I was expecting. I brought my just a little Craftsman tool kit. I think there's like a hundred tools in there, or something weird like that. And of course you need to have a helmet. So I got the helmet, my impact. This is just some camera gear. My impact, a bunch of snacks, some Cheez-Its and Doritos, and then a bunch of sockets. And yeah, I felt like I was pretty good with just bringing that stuff. I looked around and kind of saw whatever else I was bringing and pretty much the same exact thing. A couple guys brought extra axles, which was not a bad idea. And uh, a lot of people looked around street tires. I just had my all trains and left them on. Uh, I could definitely feel my tires roll when I was going around some of those corners. All those guys have smaller tires. And I know now why. Um, if you guys like this week's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more car content. Thank you so much for watching.